Thank you so much, Charles, for being here with me today. Lovely. It's a beautiful day and I love being here with you. So you're a relationship coach? Yes, guilty as charged. I've been so grateful to work with you and to receive the support that you provide in relationship coaching and want to share more with the world what's possible in getting that kind of support in relationships. Is it fun for you? Sometimes I describe myself as Santa Claus in the off season. That I'm bas- I don't c- come down the chimney, but basically what I do hour by hour is, you know, what do you want in your life? And then I work with them to be able to have that. And it, it's, it's really fun that people are having challenges and I can actually offer them things that are helpful. Mm. And if they're willing to try them, then uh, they just, they tend to help. Mm-hmm. That's medicine. It's yeah. Relief. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So relationship does involve a lot of challenges. Yes. Pain, suffering. What's, what's so challenging about being in an intimate relationship? A big challenge we have is, is the, uh, what we consider to be the cultural norms, the, uh, the models that we have from our parents, from the movies, from the cartoons, the fairy tales. The, the concepts we have is that when I find the right person, that we're going to be happily ever after. Mm. And to actually uh, realize that being in a relationship is actually very challenging and uh, like a garden or like an education or raising children or having a career, it actually takes a lot of learning and intentionality for it to really work well. And we really don't have those models from the places where we learn from. So to be able to realize that uh, like a hand on the stove, pain, oh, take my hand off the stove, there's learning, to you know, rather than suffering, my hand is on the stove and I'm leaving my hand on the stove. I'm not trying something new. Uh, I would really encourage couples to be willing to experiment. Um, you know, be curious. Mm-hmm. Uh, get a book. You know, talk to a MFCC or a relationship coach, or talk to a couple that has a relationship that you admire. Mm-hmm. Uh, but don't just do the same thing over and over again, hoping for another uh, for a different result. Mm. So you've seen couples who've come to you. They've been willing to try something new. They've been ready for something different and they've come out the other end having had some coaching with you Mm -hmm. either they've parted or they've stayed together what works to keep people together when i work with couples we basically work with like one idea or one tool at each time i'm i have a metaphor of a toolbox and i'm giving the couple tools to work with Uh, being curious having an open mind being willing to try things would be a kind of a key ingredient um, but yeah, being willing to, to learn and grow rather than thinking it either is a good relationship or it isn't a good relationship. Mm. Um, being willing to have it be alive mm-hmm. would be a key ingredient. Yeah, being alive, curiosity, commitment. Do people generally automatically go get help when they have challenges in relationships or does it sometimes take a while? Uh, in our culture, the, there isn't much modeling around reaching out for help. Reaching out for help is, I mean, a lot of people don't like to go to the doctor because you know, they're gonna tell me something bad or they don't wanna go to the dentist. Going to uh, talk to someone like myself, it in some ways feels like I'm admitting there's something wrong and that there's a failure, uh, as opposed to what I would encourage people to think more in terms of is, you know, this is something that I could learn about and it could really be a lot better if I was to learn something. Uh, according to research, most couples wait over six years before they actually reach out for resources. And a, a lot of hurt feelings can happen in, in that six plus years. Uh, so to listen to that, that pain that I have, I'm, I'm not happy, what, what we're doing isn't really working for me, to listen to that as I'm hungry, I want to eat something, I'm tired, I want to sleep, I'm not happy rather than just being not happy, actually being willing to do something about mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. can be a great opportunity for learning and having a happier relationship. Mm. I speak from experience, having worked with you for 12 years now, coming to the phone, feeling really challenged, really afraid, unsure of the future, and coming out the other end, sometimes I don't even know, didn't even know that was possible. And there's so much more clarity and lightness and relief and fun So I know that that's possible, and I thank you so much for your work with couples to bring about greater fulfillment and joy in this world. Thank you. Wonderful to be here with you.